The Toyota Supra is more than just another classic. This car helped define automotive culture in the 90s. It starred in movies and video games, and for a lot of kids at the time, myself included, it is the car that got them into cars in the first place. Now, after what feels like an eternity of teasing, it's back. Toyota pulled the cover off the new Supra here at the Detroit Auto Show. Question is, is it worth the wait? Design-wise, the new Supra doesn't share a lot in common with the previous generations, but that's okay. This car is still pretty special to look at. All of the body panels are well composed, the lines are crisp and clean, the face is aggressive, and it's perfectly sized. The fascia here is reminiscent of the FT1 concept. Granted, it's been toned down a lot, but it still maintains some of those sporty elements. Same goes for the rear. The dramatic ducktail spoiler and the slim light fixtures are all pretty much ripped from the original concept. Inside, the Supra's cabin shares a lot in common with the BMW Z4 on which it's based. The iDrive infotainment system is an obvious carryover from the Beamer, but there are some elements that help the Supra stand out. It's lined with a subtle black leather and features a driver-centric cockpit, similar to the Mark IV. Under the hood is a BMW Source 3.0-liter inline-six engine. It's the same engine you'll find on the new Z4, but surprisingly down on power a bit here. In the Supra, it produces 335 horsepower and 365 pound-feet of torque. Toyota estimates that will give the Supra a 0 to 60 time of around 4.1 seconds and an electronically limited top speed of 155 miles per hour. So, this new Supra looks good, has plenty of potential under the hood, and starts at $49,990. It comes in three different trim levels, including a limited edition model of which just 1500 will be built. On the surface at least, it looks promising, but only time will tell if this new Supra can live up to the cult status of the original.